Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to look at actually creating more classes, similar to how we have the class here of project. We're going to actually make a new .java file over here and have another class in that that we can reference from here, similar to the differential pilot and the random class. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the pack package here and we're going to click this button just like we did for creating the project.java. So we just click that. That'll pop up this. Let me just move that down. And what we're going to do is we're going to just give this a simple name of driving. Make sure that you do not have the public static void main checked, as that's only used for where the jumping endpoint of the program is, and there are not multiple jumping endpoints. So we're just going to click finish, and it's going to create the class in here, and it's going to open up a separate tab. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag this, and you're going to start to see that it pops up the little green bars, and I'm going to make it so that it's split. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a constructor, much like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to type public, and then, as we called our class driving, I'm going to type, oh, there we go, driving, just like that, where um, you will notice, basically, it doesn't have a return value, uh, like this one, where it doesn't have, wait, this is a little bit hard to explain, but this one has a void return value, this one appears to not have a return value, but in reality it does. What it is doing is it is returning a object of project. And that's why you don't need to say uh, what this is actually returning. Um, so, just like up there as well. Where? Yes, we know that we're going to return a class of driving. And what we're going to do is we're just going to have uh, another method in here. We're going to call it public void. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to copy or cut that. So command X or control X. And then we're going to paste that with command V or control V. And so now we've got the travel and rotate methods in here. And as you see that it doesn't have the pilot recognized, we're going to do uh, what's called a parameter. So we're going to just type differential pilot in here, and then we're just going to call that p. And uh, we're going to do the import on this. So this may not be completely clear just yet, but hopefully it will become clearer. Um, basically, we are moving some of our uh, driving from here into this other class, and we'll be able to actually call that class from this one. So, uh, let's see here. We need another differential pilot as a global variable here, and we're also going to call it pilot, just like over there. Uh, don't forget the semicolon. And now what we're going to do is this will take a differential pilot input named P, and what we're going to do is we're going to assign our global variable of pilot to this pilot that is passed in. Now we can use it down here in our travel and rotate method. So now that's all set up. And we're just going to save that with Command S or Control S, and save this one the same way. And now we're going to call it from in here. So we're going to make it as another global variable. We're going to say driving, just like we have up here, like this class is. And we're just going to call it uh, our little variable drive. And you can see it doesn't complain about any errors because it's in the same package over here. The reason it complained about the random and the drive and the differential pilot is because they were in different packages like Leho's hardware motor motor.
and that kind of stuff. So now we've got the driving in there, and we can go down here, and we can say drive is assigned a new driving, because that's what our class is. And we need to pass in a pilot. So we just type pilot, and similar to how we passed in motors here, we pass our global differential pilot into here, and now the driving class has a reference to that. So we just remember to add a semicolon, and now we can do drive dot, wait for it to load the autocomplete, and then you can see we've got our travel and rotate method, which we have over here that we defined. And we can call that. There we go. And now we have a uh, basic introduction to classes and that kind of stuff. Uh, we can also use variables from the other class, so we can get drive.pilot, and then we can call methods directly on that. So there's the rotate and that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, just a brief introduction to classes. Um, I plan on using them pretty soon for hopefully implementing the touch sensor, and I'll see you next time. Bye!